is getting scary, but don't you worry. Let me tell you about this girl. Leave me your shit. I met him in Philly, and the name's Brad Shook. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. Blood burning. The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing. Hey girlies, so today we're going to see Beyonce. So I'm doing a whole little get ready with me. Before y'all even say nothing, baby, don't don't look at the lace. Cause guess what? A cowboy hat is going on top. So it don't matter. Already stressed because I'm on a time crunch. I don't know why I decided to do this today, but I love the thrill. So we're about to get ready. <laughs> I literally went on a whole little Sephora haul just to get inspo for Beyonce and top a re-up on like some of my faves like the milk makeup primer and the setting spray. So first I'm going to prime with the milk makeup poreless primer. This is, believe I mentioned it before, if not in a TikTok, this is very comparable to the e.l.f. poreless face primer. So if you're looking for something more cost efficient, I would recommend getting the e.l.f. because they're basically the same. I always do the travel size, baby. Cause again, I can get this one for cheaper. So I'm gonna get the travel size. I already did my lashes and put my contacts in off camera, considering I don't know how to do lashes. So they probably look real crazy. Um, I already had a panic attack about them. So <laughs> there's that. I am not the girly who has mastered certain makeup techniques by any means. I don't know how to put on strips flawlessly. These are from Amazon, by the way. Um, link in my storefront storefront link link in the description box y'all know what it means i'm see i'm overwhelmed i'm overwhelmed i'm overwhelmed i am not the girly who knows how to do or claim that she knows how to do makeup flawlessly like i know how to do what i know how to do and strip lashes wigs none of that is the beauty that i know how to do i believe i know how to do a decent face but the rest of that mm -mm. I do not put on eyeliner. Anything with my eyes, baby, I'm keep it away. I don't like it. Right now, I'm just going in with that primer. So now I'm primed. I typically start with my eyebrows. What I like to do with my eyebrows, which may seem, okay. I like to put edge control on my eyebrows just because it's hair. So you know how the girlies use brow gel. I usually just grab a scoop of my local edge control nothing that really stick sticks because that's crazy but i literally just brush it in the direction that i want it to go and it's literally just like having a brow gel especially if you like those spiked lashes i feel like this is what it, this is what you can do i personally have never bought an eyebrow gel so i don't even know if there's a difference but in terms of the look i feel like it gets the same look like it literally gives spike so that's what I do. But if you are using an edge control on your eyebrows like I do, please make sure that you actually brush in the edge control because similarly to when you do your edges, it can flick up. Um, you wanna really just brush it in because it will flick up. And then it's gonna be like, girl, why are your eyebrows white? And then next, I just fill them in. I fill them in from the back. I don't necessarily touch the front too much I really just feel my eyebrows in from the tail and back to make it more natural because I want the front to look how the front's gonna look I actually learned that from makeup by Mario but yeah I don't really do too much to the front and because I'm seeing Beyonce I really want to do a little not dramatic but I really want that spike to just be what it is in the front and that's what it's gonna give all right now that we've done brows now it's time to conceal because it's summer I feel like I haven't really gotten my summer concealer shade down pack. So I've actually been using a winter foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And I've been using that to conceal my brows personally. So I just do a little dab here. Sometimes I just put it on a brush child. I ain't got time. I just conceal really the tail end. Like, I don't be doing too much. I really just conceal the tail just to cover up those hairs because fun fact I do not get my eyebrows done ever like I think the last time I got my eyebrows done I was in college and I like tried threading for okay let me not talk while I'm doing this but yeah last time I got my eyebrows done was when I was in college and I literally tried threading for the first time that was the last time I got done 
got my eyebrows done and that was over five years ago so I kind of concealed over it because I should not be talking so I'm just gonna fill them back in a little boom and now baby we gonna blend this is what we're gonna do we're gonna blend so now I'm going in with the base of my face um I really wanted to try this yummy skin skin tint by Danessa Myrick. She popped up on my TikTok and I was like, girl, first of all, your skin is giving bomb and it's black on. And I was like, <laughs> I gotta try her. So this is what I'm about to try today for my foundation, but it is a skin tint. I got the shade 13. So hopefully it's giving match. Let's see what she's hitting on. I wonder if it's open. Okay, yeah. She might be a tad too dark. A tad but I think I think she may work let me see mm. Mm. I think she actually matches hold on I think she matches and she definitely is like illuminating Hydrate smooth correct. It's definitely hydrating because I look like I just drank some water. She's like, you know, it doesn't get mad at all. Oh, that definitely smoothed that. Ooh. Also, I don't know if y'all can see, but like I had a really bad heat rash in Mexico. So I want to see. Oh yeah, she can cover that up. She covered that up. Hmm. I like her. I quite like her. And she's not too thick because you can still see my freckles coming through. But she hides my dark spots, which I like. That's like perfect for summer. Blending her all around. Baby, I look like I just drunk a gallon of water. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like, I like. Because I am an oily girl, I like to set in between my face. So I don't wait all the way to the end. Sometimes I do, but for the most part, I set in between. So I'm using this Makeup Revolution Base Fix. It's usually what I do after I do foundation. Now I really look like I just went in the pool, baby. So she's dried down a little bit. I still think she's a tad, tad, tad too dark or on the orangey side for me. But that's the thing about makeup. You can always finesse it. So now I'm about to highlight. And so that will kind of lighten it up a little bit. So I have a lot of different concealers. A lot of my favorite concealers are the Kosas concealers. I use those a lot. They're not like super, super, super thick. And so for this beat, I kind of wanted something thicker. So when I want a thick concealer, I always go to my Too Faced Born This Way. And I got the color Butterscotch because it is very, very thick. It is very creamy. I use it when I know I want like a, like y'all know the look I'm talking about. That real like beat, like damn near cakey, but not cakey. Not bad cakey, but like makeup cakey type of look. And that's why I always go for the Too Faced. When I want just a regular everyday concealer not too thick but like coverage i use the coastal concealer when i want something real beady i use the Too Faced. i'm just going to highlight under my eye snatch that up my nose y'all know the points y'all know the deal i even could have went a little lighter i feel like i usually get warm sand like i get this and warm sand for like a real bright under eye I do like to let my concealer kind of sit on my face for a little bit. I don't know. I don't really know if that does anything, but I personally like it. I really feel like this lace is so distracting, y'all. Please, again, a hat is going on it. Don't, don't pay no attention. But normally, I would use a powder puff to blend in my concealer. I actually love using a powder puff to blend in my concealer rather than a brush. However, baby, they was all gone. They was all dirty. I threw them away, and I never thought to re-up. Like, they sitting in my Amazon cart, and I just never pressed buy. Because why? I'm a procrastinator, which is why I'm rushing right now. We're gonna have to go to our good old faithful um, beauty blender and brush combo. So we're just going to dab that in, mm -hmm, like so light it. Like, I just think a powder puff is so universal. And that's the thing about makeup is like, you do not need to use one thing for whatever you originally thought that sole purpose was. And I'm not, a girly who's gonna be like I use this brush for this and I use no baby I will use the same brush and keep pushing again I use my foundation as a concealer like I use edge control as an eyebrow gel like I will mix up shake because makeup is about what works for you 
not everybody else if it works for you you gucci and really just tapping it in and it's like a push motion like you're pressing it to your skin and again that's what works for me is when i press it into my skin okay oh i do have a powder puff yeah now to alleviate some of that oil i'm going to use the one size translucent setting powder this is not the only setting powder I'm going to use because I like a bright under eye and it's going to bring back the color. But I like this to kind of mattify my face, mainly in the inner corners. Just get that and really down here. I believe they have new shades now, but this shade can typically, to me, wash out brown girls. And maybe I'm just doing it wrong. And so I like to go in with like a different setting powder that you'll see in a minute. Um, that's going to bring back my color. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna let that sit on there for a little bit. And while that's sitting on there, I'm going to fake contour. I'm not a real big contour girly, but sometimes when I'm feeling a little, a little spicy, I might do it. Um, so I'm using the Fenty contour stick and, or the match stick in the shade Espresso. And I'm literally just ever so slightly going around my face. And I'm gonna take this brush that I've had for years and just pat that in. I feel like I'm not giving y'all justice because this is a very rushed video, baby. We're rushing so we don't miss Beyonce. We're, we're rushing, absolutely. But I'm just going to pat that in. Because that was cream, I'm also going to go and set it with my e.l.f. E.l.f. What's an e.l.f.? My e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation in Deep 540. I just like to grab that same brush and just go over same exact places I had it I'm just going over and like bringing the color back in my face basically zooming it zooming it zooming it nothing too crazy about it so now you see this little brush has all this dust in it because I like to take a small brush to blend out the powder I don't like to just wipe it away I like to actually blend it in with a small blending brush which I think makes all the difference. I just think it blends out those harsh edges. Like instead of just wiping it away, it really allows you to just, you know, blend it out better to me personally. Okay, this, don't worry about this, baby. It, it, it's gonna come together, it's gonna come together. Wait, is my face card declining? Is it giving decline? <laughs> it's gonna come together, it's gonna come together, it's gonna come together. Now I like to go in with my favorite setting powder, which is the Pinch of Flower Setting Powder by Beauty Bakery in the shade Plantain or Caramel. This is what I feel like brings back the color in my face. I like to put this down. I, it just gives that back that yellowness, that goldness. But I really like to fake cake that in, like, you know. And again, I'm going to carve that out down here it's giving scary but don't you worry don't you worry it'll come together while that's setting i'm gonna go back in with that um elf 540 powder and i'm going to fake contour my nose again me and contour do not get along like she's like that cousin that like you cool with they probably got like 10 10 minutes before they start getting on your nerves that's how i feel about contouring not too much of the contour because after a while she gonna she gonna piss me off so i just like to take one of these brushes i don't even know which brush this is and this powder and just go on my nose and go down like very slightly nothing too crazy but i like to start from like my eye basically and go down nothing crazy Cause when it start getting crazy, baby, that's when it start getting crazy. That's when it start getting lazy. That's when it start getting hazy. And the face card declining. So I'm gonna take her and bring her down. And now that we took her and brought her down, we're gonna take her and blend her out. Like, duh. We don't want no harsh lines on the nose. But we just wanna give a little cute, cute little. I love my nose, but we just wanna give her a little cute. Yeah, so we're almost done, ladies. I know we're I know we're looking crazy right now, but trust me, it's gonna it's gonna come together. I'm just so overwhelmed right now. How am I gonna fix this? So y'all, it just got real crazy. 
one, my camera overheated. As that happened, my eye starts watering. I put a little blue eyeliner on my waterline and my eyes started watering. I have very sensitive eyes. So I don't even know why I did that. I don't even know why I did that. Anything with my eyes, baby, I'm keep it away. I don't like it. And so this part, my eye is just gone. The concealer is gone. Cause uh, I just sell my ticket at this point because what's going on? And I don't even know how you fix this. I just feel like maybe, oh, I completely forgot. So I bought the Danessa, Ma Danessa, Danessa Mavericks and she has like a balming powder. Maybe this will work. Let me see. It can be used as anything. It can be used as a setting powder, a balming powder, a blurring powder. And it comes like this. It's very cute, by the way. Maybe this will work. Because right now, me putting my foundation back on is not working. And it's literally like a balm. I just hope it's not too dark. Oh, it's a little too dark. Oh, wait. Oh. It's my color, but it's dark for my under eye. But I feel like if I just pat that in and then set it maybe, then maybe it will work. It's a lot better. I did, I did the concealer like three times and it did not work. That's a lot better. You can still see the blotch a little bit because like my eye is still actively watering. I think I do need to go in with something my color though. Get it somewhere. It kind of created like a patch almost that allowed it to stop getting wet. If that makes sense. I wonder if I could also use this little blurring powder to contour because it's pretty deep. It's like my color, so I really could use it as a foundation. I do need to blend under eye powder. Listen, it's going to be what it's going to be. It's going to give what it's going to give. Beyonce is still going to love me. Tap in that brush off okay almost done y'all for the girls who don't know i'm gonna put y'all on to line my lips i don't own a well of course i own i don't use lip pencils to line my lips i use eyeshadow i just literally this is from the beauty supply store i use this dark brown eyeshadow palette to line my lips and i like using a little like angled eyeliner brush just because i can create like I can be more precise, you know? So now I created like a little Rihanna lip, if you will. And the reason why I use an eyeshadow for a uh, lip liner is because as a brown skin girl, I feel like lip liner is either too light, like it's literally our complexion, or it's black. And I don't necessarily want a black lip liner. I want a brown lip liner. And you really have to reapply like every five seconds. With eyeshadow, <clears throat> baby, it's stuck. It's up and stuck. So I like using the eyeshadow better personally and again because I'm using a little angled brush like it's just a swipe it's literally so quick and easy and that's how I line my lips because it's renaissance given alien superstar I really wanted to make use of the Fenty Beauty kilowatt highlighter but I'm thinking I want to do it as an eyeshadow if not eyeshadow, then it's my eye watering again. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm literally just gonna gloss over. Oh yeah, that eats. You see that? I can't wink, so I can only close this eye. It's literally just a little subtle little detail. Oh yeah, that's cute. I'm glad I did that. And it kind of gets a little baby doll brat effect. I like that. College, when I first learned how to do makeup, really. I will always do a glossy lid and I feel like this will be so cute as a glossy lid too but it kind of already gives gloss and I think it bounces off the cobalt eyeliner I did earlier too and it has the strips I don't know how to do strips so it's definitely giving glob of glue I always set my face before blush and highlight and I'm gonna set my face with the milk pore eclipse matte setting spray this is my first time using this one actually Set my face. Dry, dry, dry. Mm, and it gets mad. It gets mad. I think I really want to get these blur bombs again in like highlighting shades because that will really blur and mattify your under eye. 
just an idea. I'll let y'all know. I'll keep that, keep you posted on that. So I'm going in now with my favorite blush. I don't like pink blush. I don't like purple blush. Well, let me not say I don't like, but I never try purple blush because I always just go to this like coral color. I feel like this always just sets my makeup. This is the Brownie Bar by Beauty Bakery. And I just literally use that as a blush shade. And no matter what makeup I'm doing, it just ties it together. I like it. Me personally. I like it. Yeah, I don't like highlight. It's not my jam, but it's Beyonce. So I gotta shine. So I'm gonna do a little teeny, itty bitty little bit of highlight. I'm just going to dust. Literally a dusting. A dusting of highlight. Nothing too crazy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all know back in the day when the girlies would really eat up highlight. I think I'm scarred from that. Because I think I was one of them girlies. But yeah, that is basically my face. I need to figure out what's going on with this damn eye. Like, it looks crazy. <sighs> no! <laughs> if I do post the Get Ready With Me, y'all, it's gonna be the most chaotic game, Get Ready With Me ever because... <sighs> Anywho, I'm about to get dressed. I still don't know what I'm wearing to see Beyonce yet, and that's part of the issue. All right, y'all, I figured it out. I'm wearing this top from Miss Lola. The skirt is also from Miss Lola. The boots are from Dolls Q. The hat is from Amazon. And the bag is also from Amazon. So this is my Renaissance outfit. It literally came together today. Um, yeah, this is what it's given. And I gotta go. So see y'all at the Renaissance concert. Thanks for watching. If this is gonna be a get ready with me, because this is crazy. But yeah, thanks for watching. Love you guys very much. And it's time to see Beyonce. Bye.